Hey guys, my name is Lita Fazal. I am a hairstylist here on YouTube. I also have TikTok, Lita Fazal, Instagram, Lita Fazal. I'm going to have a new page. Uh, it's going to be Lita Blogs on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe to that as soon as it's out. But today what I'm going to go over is this is day nine, post-surgery, breast lift, and lipo. Today I'm getting lymphatic massage. I don't think that this is stressed enough. When you get lipo, you must get this done. And I've heard several people tell me that they had no idea that this was something. And they also almost blamed the surgeon. And I'm here to tell you, don't blame the surgeon. They just don't know. They don't tell you either. I don't know why, but you know, maybe, maybe this fluid that they inject in you as they are doing the lipo does naturally go away. But it is super important to get that fluid out, okay? Lymphatic massage helps you do that. What happens is if you don't get that fluid out, it can harden and crystallize like salt. And when that happens, you can appear lumpy. So if you've ever seen these people that have lumpy skin after lipo, that is why, okay? Compression, super important. Your skin, your skin here, your muscle here, the doctor came through in the middle and he messed all this stuff up to take out that fat. Now you need to make sure that your skin attaches to your muscle and the best way you can do that is compression. Okay? So in a moment, my massage therapist will be coming in and I hate to even call her a massage therapist. She's more than that because she's a licensed nurse. She knows so much and I cannot wait to share all this information from you. It is gold and I hope that you're able to find somebody like her in your area. But if you're in my area, Raleigh, North Carolina, y'all, you're missing out if you don't hook up with her. And this is something that's really important too, and I wish I would have known this the day of my surgery. This woman, her company will actually come to your house the day of surgery. They will keep you, uh, if you, you know, obviously you have to pay for it, whatever, but they will change change your drains, they will, they will change your band-aids, they will do it all. And I tell you what, that was freaking hard. Like that was a really hard experience for me and my husband to do that. But had I known about her, she would have been here for sure. But I'm lucky to have her on day eight yesterday where we started and now we're gonna move forward every day. Yeah, so let's get started. All right, what's up guys? So I'm getting lymphatic massage today. This is day nine. I wanna show you guys what it looks like. I just got out of my faha. I love when my, you'll, you'll see, you'll, when you meet her, my, my Lymphatic, lymphatic massage therapist. She's like, ah, she's so spicy. I love it. Anyways, um, I just got out of that. This is what it looks like. Day nine, post breast lift and liposuction. Okay, I'm gonna turn around. There are bruises. Okay, I am still very. I've got a lot of fluid still in here. Okay, and that's what the lymphatic massage is going to do. It's going to squeeze out all that other extra juice that just hasn't come out yet. That's why it's important to do the lymphatic massage and wear the compression. Super important. But you'll see the little marks here, that's from my compression. Um, when my faha is off and this is smoothed out, I don't have these little ridges, but you won't catch me out of that thing. So once I'm done with this, I'm hopping right back into the faha. It's already damaged under the skin. Your lymph nodes, your lymphatic system is right underneath the skin. So I can actually ask uh, Lita, you know, Lita, how did the pressure feel? How was the pressure during the entire, um, what the, the, at the start of the massage? What is your oh, take on the pressure? Light. Yeah, very light, very easy going. Okay. So I actually had somebody comment on one of my posts just now before you got here. I said, I can't wait, I'm getting this done again. And they said, make sure to take a pain medicine because it's gonna hurt. And I was like, um, no, well, I'm not, you know, in, into that. I'm not, okay, but uh, yeah, I thought it was interesting that right. you're like, if it's painful, it's not. Exactly. If it's painful, you know, as an addendum to what she was going to say, if it's painful, then it is not a manual lymphatic drainage. Um, massage pain. If you're if you're pressing into the skin, people say, okay, it's a massage. If you're hitting muscle. This is not muscle. We are going right under the skin. It is light touches that I'm actually guiding that fluid 
right into her lymph nodes. So, you know, our proper way of doing things, what we will do, you'll see my skin, my hands gliding over her skin, which I did. I washed my hands and all of that good stuff. And I applied, I have the CBD oil underneath um, on here. So what I'm feeling also, I like with my hands, I'm feeling underneath her skin. And what I'm feeling, I am feeling somewhat like little bumps. It's sometimes we, I feel for fibrosis. And what fibrosis is, if you're not wearing proper compression, then it feels really, it feels like little lumps under the skin. And that's what I, I do a full assessment just to make sure we don't have any fibrosis setting in. If you do, we do have a cup that we, we do cupping on her. And you would see me demonstrate that just very shortly, um, whereby I can show you how that fibrosis is, how we can get rid of that fibrosis. Um, I would recommend, um, even if you want to try it at home as the person that had surgery, have someone that knows what they're doing, do it. Because you want to make sure you know exactly what you're feeling for. The fibrosis, once you start your cupping, you would feel, the person will feel a pinch. And as that, as the fibrosis dissipates or it improves, then guess what? That pain or discomfort kind of goes away. And we could have addressed this yesterday because that's exactly the feeling that she was having and we were able to take care of it. All right, so I'll continue. Um, with these light touches and massages, um, guiding the fluid. If you see me, I'm going in a different direction. Here it is, I'm moving that fluid from the abdomen. I'm putting it up into her lymphatic system. She does have sutures right underneath her breast line. So what I wanna be careful with is making sure that we do not touch those sutures. I have to be careful how I'm guiding it. Um, because I wanna make sure we're going in the right direction, okay? So um, stay tuned, right now she's very much relaxed, she's enjoying it. Um, and MLD is not just for post-op plastic surgery in an event, you just had a baby, you can also have MLD because what we'll do, we'll mold our body back to the way it was pre-baby state and it allows you to relax a bit, right? So stay tuned guys and uh, we'll come back to you shortly. If you have any questions, feel free to put your questions down and I'm sure we would address it later. Thanks guys. kids this is why when you get your surgery and you have those incisions you want to go ahead and get that liquid out so you actually don't have to do this Look at that. Look at that. I think you should show. I don't want to know anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. Okay. There you go. See it, guys? This is all Seroma. This is her Temesim body fluid um, that's in her. 
and we realized something was wrong because again we sh i showed you the pockets of fluid and behind her back right at that base um it felt a little bit you felt the fluid then you felt it forming a little hard so what we're trying to do is literally try to get that out right that. see so our job is to make sure all the fluid is out as much as we can that we that it's not jiggling and then we're pushing continue to push that fluid out um just within our um immediate you know we had a break um she had to run to the bathroom and that lets me know mm -hmm. that her fluid is i mean we're pushing it out through the lymphatic system so you know this is what we this is what we're doing i think we've i've gotten out as much i call it tap as much as i can so what i'm going to do i'm just going to go ahead and cap this um and at the same time we'll continue to um go ahead with our manual lymphatic drainage i'm looking for my cap and um <laughs> and hopefully she feels she definitely will feel much better if we mm -hmm. if she puts her hand in the back she would tell you she does feel a little bit better with um, with everything, you know, she was feeling a little bit of toughness back there. Okay. All right, guys I just want y'all to see this snatchiness that's going on here Okay, so sorry I cut off but We did some more lymphatic draining and then she put my fupa. No, not a fupa ha! A faha a faha on me, which was like a two-man show. Okay um, But check out I feel so much better. Um, getting that drainage out here was huge, huge, huge. And I am getting ready for my snatched body, y'all. It's going to be a hot girl summer. It's going to be a hot girl summer for the first time here. I'm excited for it. All right. I'll be back. Tomorrow, we are cupping. So, day 10. Stay tuned.